hey my love and thank you for joining me in another video and if you are new here welcome 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 <laughs> So in my last video, I was telling you guys that I needed to get myself a calendar and I wanted to get myself a weekly planner, right? So tell me why I went to the store and I ended up picking up a whiteboard and markers. I can explain. Basically, I got into the store and I was looking around and I asked one of the workers there and she said they don't sell calendars, which is pretty weird because it's a stationary store and it literally has four floors and you're telling me you don't sell calendars like i feel like that's the base that's like one of the most basic things the stationery store should have in my opinion but we're in a different country so i don't know um they did have weekly planners i'm gonna show you on the screen what i saw and i wasn't feeling them either like i wasn't feeling it so i thought to myself hmm how much is a whiteboard? There were different sizes. It's like the smallest one they had. And I was like, let me just see here. Let me let me see the price. Maybe it's in my price range. I wasn't about to just buy myself a whole ass whiteboard for tons of money because I still need to go pay for my gym membership. I'll do that tomorrow, promise. Um, so yes. I went and saw the price and it was really affordable so I said why not I'll, I'll just drop the month of March here and on the side I could put up my weekly plan so I'm thinking or oh, what we're gonna do today together is drop the boxes for the month of March and then over here we'll put up the days of the week and I'll write down what I'm gonna do for the week so and I think this is what's gonna keep me a lot more organized I'll be putting up like my classes throughout the week but this is more for when I'll be filming editing posting for you guys and I'm just the type of person that likes crossing things off like especially as the month goes by the month of March is super freaking quick and I know you guys know what I mean like we're gonna blink and it's gonna be April and that's my birthday month so cheers to me if you're in Aries cheers to us so I know this one's gonna go by really fast and midterms are in April as well so just taking things off, writing down the assignments I need, etc. is going to help me a lot just to see that the days are moving and I am getting things done. And it's really just good to know what works for you guys. Like, I really need to write things down. I need to see them. I'm a visual person. I also like working with my hands because I could have printed it out and I could have done it on my iPad. Um, Because I've seen a couple things on Pinterest and canva those are the two that i the two apps that i use on here and i could have just done it on here printed it out but it doesn't work for me because i have my schedule on my phone as well my semester plan is on my phone but it just doesn't do it for me like it doesn't do it for me so i think what we'll be doing is every month beginning of every month you will see this whiteboard i will clean it up and draw up the new month and put everything in there so this is something to be looking forward to at the beginning of every month so let's get into it i've been talking too much let's open this up and start drawing okay so first things first i have calendar here just so we don't make any mistakes i'm gonna keep it next to me we'll be using black and i'm just gonna quickly draw up the squares and then we can actually get into filling in the boxes together this is the semi-final product i will try to customize it a little bit better but now we are going to fill it in with gym film editing i don't think i want to put in my school schedule because who cares <laughs> um i have that on my phone this is more for what i love doing which is filming and going to the gym so i have three other colors to use and i don't know i'm gonna use blue for gym i'm gonna use 
the pink one for when I'm filming. I don't know. Green will be when I'm filming and pink will be when I'm posting. I don't have a set posting schedule, but I do want to post videos for you guys once a week or twice a week, depending. But I think twice a week is pretty good for you guys, right? Let me know. So I'm going to start filling it in first with the gym. I go to the gym or I will be going to the gym on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. So five times a week. Um, and obviously this is like flexible. If I don't go to the gym, then who cares? It doesn't really matter. But that's like what I want to do, like my standards. So I'm going to put those in now. So here she is, guys. Let me break it down for you all. So I use the color, the different colors. The hearts don't have any, <laughs> they don't have any meaning. Just that that was the month in the top, that was the month of February. So we don't put anything there. And then the heart at the end over here is going to be the first of April. So we put a heart over there because that's my month. Um, and the green, I told you guys, was the filming. I'm going to be filming over the weekend. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I don't have classes on Monday, so I'm free to film. So I put that there. The blue is the gym, and I put times because, like, the times will differ for me. Um, some days I finish earlier than other days, so that is what's happening. And realistically, on Fridays, I'll not be going to the gym in the evening like I would every other day of the week because I might have plans. Saturday morning also could like differ if I'm hungover, I'm not going to the gym in the morning. But if I didn't do anything on Friday, then I'll be going to the gym. So yeah, I just put them there as an ideal schedule in my imaginary slash perfect world, I would be going to the gym in the mornings on saturdays but that's not always the case because you know sometimes you drink too much <laughs> the night before wednesdays are my busiest school days so i don't go to the gym on wednesdays and i can just chill edit plan my content for you guys and yeah the rest is basically self-explanatory like my life is pretty chill I don't have much to add on here so it's literally gym filming editing resting and that's about it i will put birthdays i have a friend's birthday coming up that i'm gonna put in here but that's about it all that the birthdays have passed for the month and another thing is when i film i sometimes edit as well so i could be filming this video when i'm done filming i will start editing so just because i'm writing filming it's not like I've, I don't even really spend the whole day filming. I could edit half the day as well. But I just put that out there. I might just... Yeah, put that out there. I might just write editing as well. Next to filming. Or I should put filming and editing. I do want to add when I'll do my schoolwork. But that's also just depending. I could do it right after the gym if i'm in the mood i could also do it i mean i do my schoolwork over the weekend so i think i should put schoolwork but that's like self like why like i'm not in freaking kindergarten that i need to write do your homework here you know what i mean like i'm obviously going to be doing those things but maybe just for the sake of this video i will put assignments on when did I? Okay, I was doing my assignments yesterday, so I'm gonna put assignments for Saturday. Let me use a different marker. Oh, I'm gonna use black because no one really likes doing school assignments. So I'm gonna put assignments in black for Saturday. And I'm gonna put that as well Saturday, Sunday, and Monday because. I'm free, so that's when I'll be doing my assignments as well. And it's giving balanced lifestyle, it's giving organized. And I think if you guys are needing a way to like organize your life, this is a pretty cool and easy way to do it. If you're artistic, you can definitely make this look a lot cuter than I am. 
I might redo this. I did say I might redo it and just make it a lot neater. I would say if you're gonna commit to having this layout, calendar layout, use a permanent marker so that you don't have to keep um, drawing up the squares every month. I'm not so sure if I wanna commit, that's just me. I don't, commitment issues. I might wanna change it up. I might wanna use this board for something else in future. So I don't wanna limit myself to just using this as a calendar um monthly planner so i'm just gonna have to redo this every month which is fine so yeah let me know if you guys end up doing this i don't know where i'm gonna put this i'm thinking in the kitchen just so i look at it and i follow it because why are you making a schedule if you're not gonna follow it we are grown so if you're gonna make a planner for the month you better follow it strictly religiously if you're starting a new gym workout plan follow it just push yourself try because this come on we can't keep postponing oh i'll do it next month and the next like time is really moving faster these days i don't know why but yeah if you want to do something if you want to change your life get more organized start today just start today i think that's all i can say so before i say goodbye and see you guys in the next video i just wanted to share this little note i put there which says everything is happening in your favor and that's something i like to remind myself of so i stop myself from worrying too much about the future you really need to trust yourself trust in god and just know that yo everything is working out for me i don't even need to think about it as i'm sleeping as i'm doing whatever i'm doing everything around me the universe is working for me and yeah i just want to share that with you guys because i tell my friends that a lot too like everything is working in your favor no need no need to stress even if it feels like things are slowing down or if you feel like you're not where you're supposed to be trust the process because everything is working in your favor